Oh, the Warplanes! Alright, and welcome to the Monkey's Gameplay video of World of Warplanes! I am Dirt Flying, and um, yeah, so today we're doing World of Warplanes. And um, yeah, so I I wish I could have recorded this earlier. I actually had, uh, I, I actually had access to the beta since the closed beta of, um, like, you know, three months into the, you know, into the World of Warplanes lifespan. And I just, the reason why I didn't record any videos of it was because, well, I don't think I was actually recording it. I, I wasn't a YouTuber at the time. And, uh, two is because my PC couldn't handle this game at all. But, however, with the Master Computer, things are different. So, yeah, so what is World of Warplanes? Well, think World of Tanks, but in the air. And it's an arcade sim. Arcade flight sim. And you use the mouse and keyboard. And it's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you in game once I fill in my information. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Updating anger. Loading. Alright, so here we are. Let's get this dumb thing out of here and let's put this thing in. Let's put this thing in instead. So, yeah, this is World of Warplanes. I have it on max graphics, as we're gonna see in a second. And, um, yeah. And actually, I'm going to need to turn down the volume a little bit to a note. I'm going to need to uh, change my mouse speed a little bit. That should be good. All right. Oh, yeah. And by the way, if you're going to get this game, uh, you need to immediately change your reticle color to anything but orange or green. Because the... Because the uh, orange and green, they they do not stand out at all. It, it sucks. It's really bad. So we have to change. Uh, so I would suggest changing it to me anyway. But anyway, so uh, and this is World of Warplanes. It is just like World of Tanks, but in the air. Now, for some of you, you might be asking, why am I playing World of Warplanes when I could be playing Wolf Thunder? Well, I just do not like Wolf Thunder. That is my answer. The reason why I don't like it is because I prefer the World of Tanks the, in the World of series way you unlock stuff. I, I just prefer it better, I, and I like the gameplay better of World of Warplanes. I just like flying around doing things. And, um, I just like it better. I just like this game better. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure why. It's probably the same reasons why I like the 76mm on my Shermans over the 105. But anyway, so what trees am I going down? I'm going down this, I'm gonna go down all the way here, and probably go here. I really want my, uh, P-38s, because they're awesome. Also, the pancake's pretty cool. And I'm gonna go down here and get the Corsair and, that, and those. And also, for the German, for the Germans, I'm gonna go down this tree and this tree like that, so I can get the measurement, the measurement, uh, the measurement 262. And then also the VF 110, because they're awesome. Also, the Bulk Wolf 190. And I also wanna go down in Japan, just all the way down to there. Because that seems like a cool plane to fly. Also, the UK, I want to get the Globemaster. Oh, I'm supposed to say it? Where are you? I actually think that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm going to go, I guess I'm going to go, I'm here, I guess I'm going to go down the heavy fire tree. All right. Well, I guess to explain this game better, now in, and I'm one of warplanes, you have three types of aircraft. Actually, let's go to USR, because I think they have both. No, they don't. Actually, yes, they do. Uh, you have fighters, which are your standard fighters. When you think of fighters, you have your attack aircraft, which I mean, by the way, the fighters are to go against um, enemy air, other fighters, attack aircraft, and the, and the swifters, also known as heavy fighters, and attack planes which go against ground targets and don't do much else. Also, they like to have little uh, tail gunners, like that guy, and they will mess you up if you're in a fighter. But if you are in a heavy, if you're in a heavy fighter, that one might not, that won't matter much. And heavy fighters are faster with less movability, and they just tear enemy planes apart by going in a straight line and just murderizing them. So I uh, let's start off, let's use my uh let's use the tier one real quick. Now the tier ones in this game well they're not the tier ones of World of Tanks, I can tell you that much. They really, really suck. And plus they get paired with tier twos all the time for absolutely no reason I gotta turn on the timer. So uh yeah. So, uh, get out of tier 1s as fast as possible, and it's not that hard, you get, you can get out of tier 1 in the first match, or, you know, like, the first thing that you should get, you can get out of tier, tier 1s if you do okay. 
And I mean, but the only thing that stops you from getting out of the tier one and one or two matches is if you have to, is if you want the other aircraft or the tick tree instead of just going down one tick, one, instead of going down one tree, you have to, you want to go down others, that's the reason why. And, um, and, which is fine. I, I mean, for aircraft, it makes sense for the tier ones to suck because, well, yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory. And, um, and so the... So the game to match in World of Warplanes is not. Uh, it takes a lo it takes a little long time as you can see. There's not a lot of people playing as you guys can see right there. There's 60 uh, now 70 people in the queue and these are the tiers. I'm playing tier one through uh, tier one and two. Oh, there we go. All right, don't worry. This is black screen on purpose. Winter War. This is an okay map. I mean, so it always takes like 30, 30 seconds to a minute to uh, you know go in, unlike my unlike World of Tanks X360 edition, which takes I don't know like none to none to a minute, not, actually none to thirty seconds. It's crazy, but I think the reason why that's sad in this game is because people don't play it because well people like War, War Thunder better. So yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, and also, uh, in this screen, you can actually click on enemy aircraft, or your allies' aircraft, oh no, just enemy, and, uh, see what they're like, see if they're better or worse than you. Like, the Russian stutter is kinda, is worse in every way except for one. Stuff like that. Three, two, one, zero. Alright. What you want to do in this game is stay in formation with other people. You don't want to go lone wolf unless you want to go be a savior and just jump from, uh, you know, jump from people to people and just uh, save people, which is what I tend to do. All right. Now the beginning of each game is kind of slow. You gotta wait for the uh, oh, that's not good. You gotta wait for the enemies. Come up. Okay, that's because this guy seems to be not facing the correct direction. Or not. No, he's covered. Now, the thing what I like about uh, this game is the fact that uh, it's like World of Tanks where you can't see people unless you're in visual range. Of, you know, that's obviously going to take our crap, too, too, probably. Okay, by the way, your guns over here in this game, they don't, uh, they're not ammo in this. You're playing in higher difficulties, or you're know, playing in rules or guys, stuff like that. And there's, and the only controls you have is to slow down or speed up. And the mouse. That's it. Unlike Wolf Thunder, where you have a breaking roll and stuff like that. Which I, which I don't quite like, but it works. That's what I like about this game. Oh, stall warning. Oh, and by the way, um, when you're playing this, don't stay on one person for too long. You go to other people. Because uh, if you stay in a... Oh, they got me. Well, I did okay that match. Uh, I, I did just get this game like two days ago, so forget my noobness. But I... But actually, my history with... Uh, with arcade World War II flight sims is pretty significant compared to my history with uh, tank games, so I am I I'm better than I I'm I'm better uh, starting off in this game than I was in World of Tanks, that's for certain. So I mean, so my my history mainly consists of games coming out on the Wii. Uh, I'm I kind of forgot what they're called, but I got but at least six down um, in, on my belt, and I played them non-stop for years, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, I am, uh, how do I say this, I'm, I am, uh, very accustomed to this genre of the arcade flights to them, or two officially, it is my, one of my specialties, as you may, you know, as you may figure, alright, so let's, talk about this again, 
Oh, well, we can move over here, friends. We're, these are pretty cool. They're they're better than the World of Tanks tents. That's that's for sure. All right. So I'm here. Yeah. So this guy, this uh, Japanese tier two, he has a uh, worse fire. Well, I have worse firepower. I have worse airspeed. I have worse maneuverability, but I have better altitude performance. Which I'm not quite sure what it means, but it. Uh, but I have better. I have I have it better in any way. Oh, by the way, I get this map a lot, and I like this map, so it's a good thing. Alright. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't find boosting in early moments that much useful. Oh, and by the way, if you want to look around, don't do this. Hit the right mouse button and look around freely without moving the aircraft. I'm glad they have this in this game. If, if you didn't, then looking around would be impossible. Let's stay on this guy. Enemy contact. Where? Oh, right there, guy. I'm gonna go up to this guy. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to this guy. We'll finish. Uh, and that's why I've been being hit W a little too long. I don't care. Oh, you're playing like three weird things. Okay, we're in clouds, so be careful of the ground, like right there. Oh, this guy. Suck it. Suck it. This guy, I swear. He's in a British plane. I'm not as beautiful as him, obviously. Yeah, I think I got, I think I got hits on him in that in that maneuver. Oh, this guy is good. This guy is too good. Ah, oh, he's a friend. Go, go, go! Hit the boost. Hit the super booster. Okay, let's get this round. Actually, let's get this guy. See, this is what happens when you stand on one guy's long. Oh, and by the way, if you if you're getting shot at, there's nothing much you can do in this game. Or at least not with the early tiers. You got one. Now all you can do is just hope to fly around and be awesome. I don't care. I also really like to have warnings in this game. Okay, I'm going to report. I'm going to report this guy. Oh god, no! Stick to the ground. Hug it. Hug it like a V1. I'm trying to get this guy off my tail. Hi Shadow, how are you doing? Oh, uh, this guy! Oh, he got me. Yeah, like I said, there's nothing much you can do in the early tiers if you're under fire. Other than just hope that the enemy misses up. Now let's get to the F, do F, oh no, yeah, the F to F, F. Alright. I'm, I really love this game so far, even though I do die kind of early sometimes. Sometimes I can, sometimes I look through the entire game, other times I just die early, like last time. But, uh, yeah, that's just how the game is right now. Basically, if you, if you get unlucky and have, and have a guy tell you, and he and the guy has and the guy has and the guy's pretty good at the game, and he also has better maneuverability than you, you are so dead. Unless you can somehow outmaneuver him, and that's not a mess, and that's unlikely to happen. I almost did it that time, but I did fail a little bit. I, I like I got up, I got off his guns and uh, for a couple seconds, then he got right back on me. So yeah. And also, what skills help me in this game is the fact that I play Battlefield 3 like it's, you know, I just hug the ground all the time in, in those jets, and that's really how to do. And it really helps in this game, because if you want to go down low, you have to really practice, or else you're going to crash into terrain, because the camera's not that friendly. I mean, by the way, I believe this game is in beta. 
it's pu it's public testing, as it were. I'm not quite sure. I haven't found something that specifically said this game's in beta. But yeah. Now we're going up against tier three, so we are in tier two, so that makes sense. And the tiers are pretty nice in this game so far. They they're not uh, too bad. Like, you don't get paired up in the tier four match at any point. Mainly because, well, if you get tiered up with tier four aircraft in your tier two, it's not going to be pretty. I think so far of all of the aircraft I have, this is my favorite in performance. It's just really nice. Although I do like the one I the one I used before this better. But this is a good aircraft nonetheless. Okay, let's slow down a little bit, let our guys catch up. Now the clouds in this game are really awesome. They actually prevent people from seeing you, and they are clouds, so it makes harder for so it's fake. So it makes fighting in the clouds. So it makes fighting in them a little hard. Now what? Oh what? I'm surrounded. I can outdo this guy. He's a premium. Oh god. Yeah, I I run into people a lot in this game. Just saying. Because of well, the camera is not that good, and the uh, moving the mouse can you know, have its mishaps a little bit, and also just general bad luck. But yeah, we will be doing that guy again. But let's move on to the tier one German plane. And by the way, this uh, might become a series. Just like my uh, World of Tanks Xbox 60 edition gameplay videos became. So, uh, yeah. If, there, if it gets enough views, and if I do like recording these a lot, then I, so far, I like recording these, even though I've been dying easily. Although, I do have awesome games sometimes. I, I, have, I have had one awesome game with Dev2F, with Dev2F, and it was pretty nice. It was on El Hoof. Or El, or El Haloof. Or how are we supposed to say that? And basically, I was in this canyon and I just dominated. So yeah, so if you th uh, so uh, like uh, here's a tip for you: if if you die a lot, don't be discouraged. That's just mainly how the game works. Just like in World of Tanks, you get I mean you, you can easily get better and keep and just keep going forward. You don't have to worry about dying too much. All right, went to war again. Now I really hate this German plane. It, it just really sucks. It has Better maneuverability than other tier ones, but that's about it. Right, as you can see, let me just get a look at here. Yeah. And this is just a terrible aircraft. Well, luckily you don't have to sit in it long because I already got two tre two trees out of it. Playing players. All right. Let's see if I can live a little longer with this plane. All right, that's some weird conversation. Good hunting. I'll stay here and uh. Go to the right, I mean, go to the right guys if, I, if they need help. And they'll go to the left guys if they need help. So I'm not going to rush, I'm going to just cruise along. Uh, 216 kph. Or kmh. Well, it is kph, isn't it? Yeah. I think my guy's gonna hold that guy on the left. Oh, but they. Uh. And my guy, the guys on the right need some assistance, and I'm gonna flank these fools. The 
Unfortunately, we're fighting the majority of uh, We're fighting a lot of twos. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh no. I'm going in that. I'm going in that. I gotta, I gotta, revenge, I gotta avenge my teammate. Oh, by the way, if you hit F, you can uh, zoom in. It's not as good as uh, the one in uh, Wolf Thunder, but it works. Oh, hello! Go like that. Oh, that worked. Uh, go, 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 get out of his range. Oh, no. Who is shooting at me? Oh, snap, these guys. Where did you guys come from? Come on, come on. I need assistance. Too bad I don't know the command for that. Yeah, I just, I had to get, I dealt, I had to deal damage to some guy. That was a bad idea going there all alone with that aircraft. If it was, if I was flying the F2F, then that would be something else. You know, that would be something else entirely, but with the tier 1 German aircraft, not really. It's terrible. Alright. Now, I haven't played these guys yet, or even the Japanese. Uh, yeah, this would be my first time playing this aircraft. Now, unfortunately, uh, the, world of, the, world, the World of Warplanes wiki, it kind of is undeveloped at the moment. It does give you a little detail on the history of the aircraft, if you're lucky, but other than that, not really. So, basically, uh, basically this game is playing blind unless you watch other people's videos. And, you know, there's nothing much you can do. on yeah this is actually the most amount of people I've seen playing this game oh there it goes come on I yeah, see it can be a little slow sometimes that well, works slow today or right now no oh, there you go right when I said that of course the hoof oh El Haloof I think that I think that's one of the world of tanks maps even though this map is completely different from world of tanks but uh, it, it, it's really nice map nonetheless oh no I'm spun on the right side I don't want to spawn on the right side dang it I've been in renewability in the F2F all right I have been actually I've been over here before, yeah. With the one of my American planes. No, oh, that cannon over there. I really dominating that. I don't like the two matches I played in going over there. Alright, let's go. My team. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do this alone. Oh, the maneuverability on this. Uh, look at the look at the maneuverability. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Enemy contact. We got contact. We're your friends. You're under anti-aircraft fire. We got care. Where is the guy coming right at me? Oh, the minfield in this thing is so awesome. It's gun sucks though. Is that like a tier 2 then? Oh yeah, I'm by tier 2 so it doesn't matter. This is a uh, moment where the camera gets weird. Wait for this guy. 
can see attack aircraft is certain. Tail gun is at work. I know that guy's gonna be on my tail in a second. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good aircraft. It's very maneuverable. And it has a good chunk of health too. Look at that. I took all that fire and only got six I only got 62 left. Wow. Pretty good aircraft. Yeah, it has good maneuverability, good speed. It, it actually has great maneuverability and okay speed. Americans probably have better speed. Oh, blow up, please. Yeah, I got. Oh, I didn't get him. See, this is a good game for me. So far. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, watch out! Uh, you see, I tilted the mouse button. I, I tilted the mouse up, and guess what? Nothing happened. That's that's the weird thing about this game. Sometimes is it, it's kind of unresponsive, especially when you're about to collide, collide into something. Oh, that was a pretty good match, even though I did die to collision. That was mostly from the slow, the slugness, uh, this you know, the kind of slowness of the game. But I, but if you get used to it, that you get used to it. Alright, now we play something else that we haven't tried yet. This is an attack aircraft. And I haven't played an attack aircraft at all. Now, may, now the main job of attack aircraft is to destroy ground targets. Like anti aircraft guns and their friends. And actually how the ground targets work in this game is... Um, basically there's a headquarters that commands uh, guns and basically once you take that out... The uh, guns get less that the, the guns have less accuracy and stuff like that. Basically, each each uh, each ground target works in unison to try to kill you if you're not careful. All right. So I like that tier two human play. I will not that will not be a hard grind at all. Oh, I'm a heavy fighter. I thought it was attack. Yeah, I think the only uh, faction that has attack aircraft in this game are the Russians with their IL-2s. Alright. This is a pretty interesting looking aircraft. Alright, let's do this. Tail gunner, correct? Why am I using that? Awesome. Like that. You have a tail gunner? No, I'm gonna uh, take. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take other aircraft. I'm not gonna grant attack right now. Actually, you know, let's try it out. I well, what are you? Enemy yes. Oh yeah. If you try attacking ground targets with a fighter, it just does not work. Soccer! I'm a very aggressive attack, I mean, interceptor. Uh, this guy's so different. If he lets me have him. Oh, you, you're trying to kill me? Oh, that's very nice. Oh, this guy. Got me. Yeah, I didn't know what to do there. I really like that plane though, it's really nice. I'm not gonna keep it, but it's nice. Yeah, they just swarmed me with like five guys, not going to do anything much about it. 
right now. Let's do one more game in this, and I'll sell it. Hopefully, I'll sell. And purchase. British, British, British. Right, by the way, these are the premiums. The premiums in this game are kind of weird. I don't like them. Actually, let's go from the tier three. And also, premiums in the beta is very, you know, unbecoming. Okay, the gold master. All right, let's go. Oh, we gotta get the gold pinch first. There we go. And oh, yeah, in this game, uh, you don't upgrade to the uh, next plane. What you do is you actually upgrade your current plane. And uh, they don't actually go into the... I mean, they they can go into the um, other aircraft and basically be upgrades for you to purchase with other... I mean, to actually have immediately with, those, with other aircraft, but that's about it. So let's go use the Goldfinch. Maybe I actually know. Um, I'll save that for another video. Uh, I'll, I'll just play. I'll play, I'll play with the off camera. What I want to do now is I want to actually have a good game with this thing. Yeah. Actually, no. Back up. Back up. Now let's. I hit escape game. And that's what that's World of Series for you. With the, you hit exit battle and it brings you into a new one, somehow magically. Oh well, well we'll we'll use this for the final uh, aircraft for this video. And maybe on Eluf, El Eluf, I can uh, do pretty good. And um, if this video gets a couple views, I'll uh, make another one. Not quite sure when I, not sh quite sure when it will come out though, but I'll make another one. And maybe this will become another, uh, you know, random series like uh, World of Things, like World of Things Xbox 360 edition. Good hunting. Thank you. I will right, we'll do that. Stay up here until, uh, you know, until enemies show up. The is overheated. Can yeah, yeah. Enemy contact. I wanted. You're under Target hit. Yeah. Where did these guys come from? You didn't, guy. You didn't tell me that I had friends. It's usually quite useful, but not today. Come on. We can keep with this guy. I have the move. I had the I had the, I had the maneuverability. Don't know why that was so hard for me to say. No friend took him out. Okay, I didn't want to run into that guy. Yeah, see, that's what dude. This is a duck, this is a uh, furball indeed. Let's work on them fire together. Oh, he got me. Nothing I could do. Nothing I could do. That's it. And watch my flame explode. I really like watching them explode for some reason. What is that? Oh, 
Oh, it tells me who I'm looking at. It's tier two something or other. I actually like the looks of this a little bit better. Alright, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys I really appreciate you guys again watching this video. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to me if you were to leave a comment or like, tell me what you didn't like. Tell me if you have any suggestions uh, if I do make a series series of this, if you have any suggestions like what uh, like what pictures you should go down or any tips uh, on how to play world world of warplanes in general. It's really appreciated, even if I know a tip, it's even if I already know this tip, it'll still be nice to have in the It'll still be nice to have in the comments for other people that they don't know the tip. And uh, yeah, so this video gets a couple of views, and I'll make another, possibly. I don't know. So um, I, I mean, I might make an, I might make this a series just for fun, just like I have uh, Dutch Brunei's Adventures in Minecraft. But we'll see. So uh, yeah, I guess. See you all in the second.